Hi guys, so this week's video is a piece of fan art. It is a fan art of Undertale's Muffet. She's one of the boss characters in the game. Personally, I have not played this game, but I've watched a lot of gameplays of it. I love watching this game being played. Hopefully I will be playing this game on my new desktop computer, but because my laptop has been really, really buggy, haha, -ha, pun. <laughs> Because it's been really, really silly these last few months, I do not want to risk putting it on my laptop. So I have just steered clear of downloading any kind of games. It's the, also the reason why I haven't even downloaded the newest version of Yandere Simulator either. It's because my laptop, buggy, yeah. It's, it's, it's been an up and down cycle of weird with my laptop. So hopefully desktop computer soon. I'm really, really excited. But with this series of illustrations, I'm doing some Undertale fan art and it's all in watercolor. Well, except for some of the details. Some of the details I did in pencil crayon, but that's literally just adding, adding a little bit of detail, making it a bit more crisp, but still say, staying really, really soft. And that's what I really, really wanted to do. I wanted to make it soft because the game is pixelated. It's like an 8-bit Atari game, I think. That's the kind of style it was going for. And I really, really want to try it in a softer light. I thought watercolour was the way to go. And the most illustrations I see nowadays with um, fan art is I see digital illustrations and I really, really wanted to do traditional illustration with this series. So yeah, I am doing a watercolour Undertale series. Who is my next character, you may ask? Well, I chose to do Metaton as my next character to do. I then chose Undyne and then Alphys. And uh, I have no idea what order I'm going to post these, but obviously Muffet is going first since I did her first. So yes, I'm probably not going to talk for all of this video because it's a long one because water t watercolour for me takes a very long time. Layering up watercolours takes ages. <laughs> I did not want to try gouache because I'm very, very, like, oh, what's the word? Hmm. I, I can't use gouache, basically. I've tried it. I've, I've done several illustrations in gouache for classes at uni, but um, no, I just can't seem to get the hang of it, even though I do have Reeves gouache. Like, that, that's the kind of gouache I have but I'm okay with watercolour. I'd rather use watercolour personally. So as you can see, I'm doing this. I'm adding red. This painting was a lot of purple and red. And I decided to use quite a lot of tones and try to make it a lot more colourful than you see in the actual game, which is nice. It's my first time drawing Undertale characters that are not Sans and Papyrus. So you can judge for yourself whether it's actually good or not. So the next thing I want to get onto is about selling my original artwork. Now, I have no idea how to set up an online store, even though I've looked up so many videos about setting one up and I've been trying to do that and I really really am unexperienced in this whole thing so what I'm going to do is because I I'm in an illustration course in my university I think it'd be best to ask my tutors because they are freelance artists outside of being university tutors so I think I'll do that and I'll wait for their advice before doing an, on an online store and I go back at the end of September so that might be a while to wait. As with Undertale work I think you're only supposed to sell limited edition prints or you're allowed to 
sell the original piece of artwork and I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna sell the original piece of artwork and maybe make limited edition prints for either if I ever do conventions or if I do giveaways and contests and stuff like that they would be good prizes to give away I think as that but as for um, mass production prints like on sites like Redbubble or Zazzle and stuff like that I don't think that will be available to actually do so I'm sorry as I said I would have to read up more on that so yes <laughs> so this illustration was done on a live stream it was from start to finish 12 and a half hours long now there was technical difficulties in this live stream as there is with every single live stream there is but the live stream itself 12 and a half hours long from the piece of paper being completely blank so I had no idea what it was going to turn out like no idea at all and I ended up at the end of the live stream with a full finished illustration which I was really incredibly happy about iPad can you not <laughs> The only regret I actually have about this piece is that I actually used masking tape around the edge. I didn't have my special masking tape, which I had, well, my special painter's tape I had for Metaton. So the peel wasn't very good on it. Like it came out really, really like blotchy and stuff like that. But it looked pretty cool because it kind of looks like a old spider's web kind of feel especially with the whole background and stuff because it kind of blends in very well so I don't mind it but at the same time I just wish it was that clean crisp edge that my Metaton piece got but oh well it will just have to do because it's on the final piece I can't really fix it I feel like if I did actually fix it around the edge it's just it wouldn't look the same it just wouldn't be as good so yeah that's why I'm not fixing it it kind of looks effective yeah I wish it was a crisp edge you can't have everything you want oh, if only it was as good as Metaton's peel <laughs> oh. since the live stream took so long what I decided to do with the other with the other characters that I'm gonna do is not draw them on stream but do the original sketch off stream and prepare it ready for the live stream so it takes less time and I can actually do more in the stream. Watercolour does really take me a heck of a long time to actually do so I had so much fun doing this it was so relaxing the Undertale soundtrack in the background the live stream going on it was just all happy all relaxing I was talking to people I was enjoying myself I think that is definitely the best way to do a piece is to just be calm, be happy, just enjoy yourself while you're doing it. Take your time. And that was kind of my motto with these whole Undertale pieces of fan art because I did not want to screw up what the characters look like. I really didn't want to get it all wrong. Even though it's in my style, I don't want to like get it wrong. <laughs> So I will see you guys in my next video. I really hoped you enjoyed it. And for the rest of the video, it's just going to be music if there is any of the rest of this video left. Bye guys.